it has been over four months and Vodalin Amwadanko, a staff of the Lands Commission in Kumasi, has still not been found. Her husband, Dr. Wilberforce Agri, the head of the Department for Petroleum Engineering at KNUSD, has subsequently been in police custody over her disappearance after he reportedly told the police he faked the story on his wife's kidnap. The Office of the Attorney General has now taken over the prosecution after it expressed interest in the matter. The Attorney General's office, represented by Charles Edward Aduyirinchi, indicated to the court on Friday that the advice on the matter is ready, but is yet to dispatch it. He however added that further investigations need to be conducted into the matter. Lawyers for the KNUSD senior lecturer, Dr. Wilberforce Agri, prayed the court to grant the client bail, but a request was denied. The counsel for the state argued that if the accused person is granted bail, he will interfere with investigations since the witnesses are people who worked under him. The magistrate, Koko Usu Achiam, then adjourned the case to 28 January 2022. Staff of the Lands Commission in Kumase, where Rodalyn Amwadakun worked, who were present in court, have described the decision for the Attorney General's office to take over the case as a step in the right direction. Nana Yaduma Asante is a lawyer for the Lands Commission in Kumase. It's a step in the right direction. We trust the AG's office because we know criminal cases of that have high profile um, um, consequences. It's usually the Attorney Generals that prosecute these cases. So um, with the AG handling the case right now, we are confident that justice will be sought, Rhoda will be found, or the truth would prevail. It's high profile in the sense, if you look at the personalities involved, a lecturer, a head of department, and a senior lands administrative officer, it has a lot of elements pointing to kidnapping, um, a mysterious disappearance. The Lands Commission at a point was involved as if they had sent her on a duty. It has so many facets to it. It's a very complicated case. So I believe, um, and considering Kumar said we haven't had so many kidnapping cases. Um, the few kidnapping cases have been in Accra and Takradi. And kidnapping cases, naturally, they are, they are cases of um, um, national importance. So I believe this is one of those cases, and it's good that the AGS is prosecuting. For members of the Ghana Institution of Surveyors who were in court, they believe the accused is being given preferential treatment by the police and will want the situation to be addressed. Ama Sewababiu is the Value and Exchange Surveying Chair in the Ashanti region. There's one observation that I have seen, because we follow the case through any time there's court, we come. But you see that he comes to court without any handcuff. He looks so confident. And sometimes today we saw a UTAC vehicle coming to pick him from the court premises and all that. So I think that um, there should be a change. A change in where he sleeps. Because it's, I, I see him from my personal point of view to be so comfortable. He comes without any handcuff. He joins any vehicle he wants to join. And you know, the more you stay at a particular place for a long time, the more you tend to be so familiar with the people around you. And so they tend to maybe, maybe treat you with case glove or something. So I wish, I wish that he's transferred from the cell that he is now to a different cell. Family and friends of Dr. Wilberforce Agri who were in court, however, declined to speak to the media. From the Asquad District Court, I'm Edward upon Marvel for City News.